Today we're showing you a 14 panel community centre erected here in Nauru, one of several to be erected in each district in Nauru. The design of the structure itself was by F cubed using our carousel 3000 panels as the roof. Seven on one side, seven on the other, in total 14 carousel panels and those carousel panels collectively will produce somewhere between 175 to 200 litres of distilled water per day. Plus we've also installed rainwater catchment and provided shelter um, shade into a country like Nauru where sun is available 365 days a year and shade is at a premium. So it's a three in one benefit. As I move in closely, you will see the water is being fed into the shelter itself or the panels themselves by this 5,000 litre tank. That tank has been filled by lagoon water. The lagoon water has total dissolved solids of around 1,800 parts per million. Not drinkable, also has a very poor smell. As it goes, as we get closer in, you will see that it is driven by our standard pump set up with a solar panel which has been erected at the top of the structure to drive our standard pump configuration. You'll see on the inlet side a filter coming from the source water tank and on the opposite side you will see our standard pump with regulator and as I move upwards you'll see nylon tubing running from the pump pumping the water across each of the centre braces of the internal structure on either side and each individual panel is tapped into that nylon tubing to feed the water into each individual panel. If I go through to the other side you will notice that it is a direct replica of the previous side. Seven panels, each panel operating individually but we are collecting the water whether it be the distilled water or the brine water in individual pipes accumulating both along the outer perimeter of the guttering system and they feed along the outside of the structure when you get to the end of each guttering you will notice a leaf catcher so for rainwater collection if there's any dust or leaves in the guttering on the panels themselves that will be eliminated via the leaf catcher and the distilled water, brine water and the rain water are collected across the face of one side of the structure and you'll see also replicated on the other side another leaf catcher for the guttering on the opposite side. Below the leaf catcher you'll so we have a first flush system so when dust or otherwise settles on the panels and rain first comes the first water will actually be flushed out via this pipe and then once filled the rain water will be collected along this pipe and into our collection tank the distilled water if I go under is also collected, joined with the opposite side of the structure and feeding into the collection tank. So you'll get both distilled and rain water and going into the collection tank. Any brine water is being fed back into the original source tank to be recycled through the panels again. So as I pan out, as you can see, there's a very simplified structure offering both distilled water and rainwater collection with the added advantage of providing plenty of shade for the locals. There will be one of 14 of these structures erected in Nauru. We think it's an ideal solution for countries, particularly the Pacific Islands where sun is plentiful and clean water, clean drinking water is always a challenge.